Hello and welcome back, dear friends. It's me, Odo. We are back in our campaign of um, Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Last time we went and <coughs> opened every door in the Great Garrison and got Kidabras back. And now we're here in the war camp and we are still not in Mythic rank with any of our companions so what we will do is the following we will take our Mythic path um, this is some kind of leveling up the Mythic path um, I, I read what we can what we can get there are there are I think eight or nine Mythic paths two four Six, eight, nine. Yeah, nine mythic paths. Uh, the mythic hero we will have to. I I got this. The first two uh, mythic levels we must take the mythic hero, and afterwards we can take one of these that we unlocked with our actions. Um, as you saw, one, some of our actions had um, uh, brackets in it where it was indicated that it was angel and demon and trickster and stuff. And we took from these four, we took um, stuff and therefore they are unlocked. I mean, we will take the Aeon because this is the neutral path. I think this is um, there is a path for every uh, for every um, alignment. Angel is lawful good, demon is chaotic evil, so these are the two opposites to each other. And trickster I think it's chaotic neutral. And as I said, Eon is um, yeah, there is also a, a devil thing that is lawful evil and and some others. Like, yeah, I don't know. I, I really don't know all of them. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Some of them we won't even um, unlock. There is one, the Asata, I believe, that we already missed. <laughs> <laughs> and probably some others we also missed. Um, uh, for some you'll have to be lawful, for some you'll have to be good, stuff like that, and evil. I mean, there are at least, uh, let me think, there are at least three evil things. There is the demon, the swarm box, the leech, and the, there are four, even four evils. And uh, the swarm walked, and uh, I think there is a devil's path as well, but I'm not sure now. Anyway, we won't see them. So let's take the mythic hero. Mythic heroes are set apart from their contemporaries, capable of amazing feats. And we will see there are a lot of amazing feats. I was just looking around, and I'm I'm really pissed because uh, with the first ascension we have to take something that is not going to be our stuff thing. There is no neutral thing. There is only good, chaotic, lawful, or evil. <laughs> um, plus the stars macabre. Uh, which is uh, death magic, and I don't know what instrument of freedom is, but it's the one that is nearest to our um, our role playing style. So uh, all of them are quite good. I was thinking of bit of fun. This is uh, the chaotic uh, thing to do. This gives us, uh, mainly it gives us uh, in the first ascension, so in the first tier, uh, it gives us uh, mirror images, which is not 
so great, but in the second ascension, this is really great because it gives us plus three on all skill checks. Mm, this is, uh, this is really good. Uh, but we will take the instrument of freedom. I mean, there is close to abyss and close to heaven, and, uh, this will heal undead. Uh, this is totally not. Uh, interesting to anyone who is playing, who is playing a normal, uh, game. <laughs> this is only, only interesting to someone who knows that he wants to take the leech path and do everything for the leech path, for example. Um, forced reality is the lawful thing. <sighs> Sorry. I don't know what this does. Every enemy in 30 foot radius around the mythic character is a target of greater dispel effects. Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. Affecting only abilities of illusion school. Ah, not only illusion. So, no invisibility on the second mythic rank, rank the mythic character gains the ability to fix hindering abnormalities in his allies. Oh! One ally in close range is targeted to greater dispel, affecting all negative effects. Interesting. Kind of healing. Magical healing. <laughs> Castle level of this, these abilities is equal to your level plus mythic rank. Okay. But Instrument of Freedom is nice because it gives us um, three times per day plus one uh, per. Mythic rank, so four times per day now. It gives us uh, an energy ray that will uh, deal 46 plus 26 per mythic rank on damage, or um, we could also uh, get this ray on one of our allies, and then his weapon is infused with the mythical power. And we'll, we'll make, uh, additional 2d6 points of holy damage for, uh, I think, yeah, 2 plus mythic rank. That, that's three rounds now. And this is probably even better than the direct damage because if we take Lan, he has three attacks. And if he hits at least two of the three attacks in three rounds, this is six attacks. So, this would be 12 d6. Quite good, I think. At least at the start of the game. Later on, it could be better to do the direct attack because we get, for the direct attack, we get uh, 2 d6 per mythic rank. So if we are rank 4, uh, we have uh, 12 d6. On the other hand, he's also making more damage because it's, uh, he's doing then not three, uh, rounds, but, um, six rounds his damage. So yeah, probably it's even then better to do this. Okay. Anyway, depends on how easy it is to hit the characters. If it's nearly impossible to hit them it's better to make direct direct a direct attack because this is a touch attack yeah uh in the second mythic rank this is not as good as the ones i saw before but well it's okay we get resist and electricity 20 and plus four bonus uh on our saving throws against mind affecting effects yeah, yeah, that's okay. It's okay. Could be better, but yeah. Uh, and then we have one mythic ability. We get, um, I mean, at least uh, this one. Next, next mythic level, we don't get one. Um, I don't know if we get every two mythic ranks one. I really don't know. Uh, but, um, we get at least two, f two to five 
something like that we will get. And there are some really good things here. Uh, this abandoned caster, for example, is something really incredible for spell casting because it gives four more spells per uh, first, second, and third um, rank level spells. Yeah, good. But um, there are some for us because we are uh, hunters and we have our companion. We can take Mythical Beast. I think this is really great because my animal companion is now also Mythic as us. And this gives the uh, animal companion a bonus of uh, plus one per Mythic rank. So now it's plus one, but in three ranks it's plus four to strength, dexterity, and constitution. Also, and this is even uh, better in my opinion, um, our pig would then ignore all damage reduction. So let's take it for the first uh, mythical ability, just because we can. There are some more uh, that are really good. We will look at our allies now anyway, so we will have to look at others anyway in the future. Okay. Yay! So there is our instrument for freedom. And our pig is not mythic, so we can't take a mythic rank for our um, pig. Let's do the others. I'm not sure, but I probably will take the... Um, in most cases, we will take the thing that they say we should take. And with her, it's abandoned casting, which is, of course, the best thing for a wizard. I think it's the best thing for a wizard at the start. Later on, there are some other nice things for wizards, but let's take the abundant casting for her anyway. Yeah, my cat wants outside. Uh, it's cold outside, cat. Okay, I'll take a blanket. And then I'll open the door to our balcony. Come on. Don't be out too long. Ugh. <laughs> okay, this was easy. Nanyo was easy. We need to we need to give her new spell. Uh, we need to fill her spell slots too. Now, uh, I'm not sure if she should um, probably write some spells. It's the third rank, rank three spells. Oh my god. Four more spells. Okay. Um, I'm not sure, but I think. Oh, dog, it appears. We designate and blah blah blah. Gets this better? I think summon summon monsters or something like that is quite good to um, to distract um, to distract enemies, but summon monsters one is is really I mean, hmm. but let's take an enlarged person at least one because this is a good spell. I don't think that we will need sleep because this only works with um, only two four hit dice creatures. So this would be the the lowliest of creatures anyway. Probably color spray. Ah, because if we have a favorite school is. So let's let's take some more color spray and at least one vanish to yeah well vanish. 
least we'll take one more mirror image. And I really like this create create pit. This is a really great, I think this is a really great spell. Let's also take one molten orb and I don't think that acid arrow is quite good. Let's take this. And we don't have any level 3 spells. Is this on myself or on a target? Yeah, it's on a target, so it's okay. On the other hand, ah, come on. Don't change this. What's that? Invisibility, level 2. Meh. What's this? Grease, level 1. Level 3. Dispel magic. Hmm. Let's write this top of the spell book. Level 4, Curse of Weakness. Yeah, we don't need it right now. Level 2, Cause Fear, level 1. Nah. Ray of Sickening, level 1. Ray of Enfeeblement, level 1. See invisibility. Hmm. Scorching ray is also level two. Resist fire. Yeah, probably resist fire. No. Nah, this res these resist spells are better in scrolls. You really don't have the resist spell learned that you really need at the time. Stunning barrier. Hmm. Stones in art. Oh, and it's such a great spell. Well, we'll write that down. At least. No level 3 spells. Only one. And it's Dispel Magic. Uh, why is this red? Is abjuration? Um, can it can be used in automatic mode? No. Shield traits and blah 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 blah. Is abjuration the Opposite to illusion. Are there any opposites? Yeah, let's let's do the dispel magic. Ah, so it takes up two. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Let's take more haste and displacement spells. Hmm. That's too bad. I really don't want to waste spells on that. Okay. Moving forward to my dear Ember, Mythic Path, come on, he says Ascendant Element Fire, she has some fire spells, so let's, let's, you master the certain element to a spectacular level, choose one energy type, the damage of that energy type you deal can no longer be prevented or reduced by energy resistance or energy immunities. That's really good. I mean, there are so many characters who have uh, energy resistance and immunities, especially towards fire. Hmm. So we will only learn fire spells from now on with her. Probably. Yeah, let's take this. I really don't want to think about everyone. I mean, I have to think about her anyway, because I 
made my own choices before for her. So you see, there is no, um, yeah, almost a chance. What's that? Uh, okay, no. Mm. She's a shaman and she has hexes. It's also healing, but I don't take her with me f because of her healing. I'm not sure if I will take her with me anyway. Distracting shots, the mental barrage. Nah. Enforced Wigger, what's that? Every time you damage an ally, they gain a plus two mythic bonus on attack and damage rolls. That's probably quite good for her. She's always in front and this uh, uh, enhances her possibility to make a tact of opportunity. Mm -hmm. Ah no, she's not in close combat too much. Expose vulnerability. But she's also not ranged. Probably something like that would be quite good. Like a le an inspirational leader, you're a beacon of hope for your comrades. They perform battle near you. Your allies within 50 feet of you gain a bonus equal to half your mythic rank plus one. To their initiative, their saving throws against mind affecting effects and their concentration checks. Quite okay. Last stand is something I really don't like to do. Leading strike. If you hit someone, everyone else is doing more damage on this character. Eh. Magic nullification. Uh, this spells any spell effects on you. Hmm. That's okay, I think. Why can't we take him off the shapeshifter? If we charge, we don't charge. We don't have shadow spells, I think. Shots, rupture restraints, second spirit. Ah, this would be okay, I think. Um, as a shaman, you have the power of spirits. And probably this would be quite good. Growing powers let you speak to one more spirit. I mean, in one of my campaigns, when I spell, uh, when I was playing a shaman, I was taking this bone spirit. This was quite good for doing some damage. Hmm. And it's good to um, create undead, but yeah, we are not playing like that. We could do something like that. One of us is going fire, one of us is going frigid, so frost, frost spells, blah, 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 blah. Additional hexes, hypothermia, knife. Ah, she probably has death. Yeah, there is no, no battle. We can't take that. Why can't we? Because we already acquired it. There is no death. What does life do? Um, frost, hypothermia, life. 
Nietzsche. Entangling Curse. That's also quite nice, I think. What does Hypodermia do? Shaman afflicts a creature within 30 feet without hypothermia. Target must attempt a fortitude saving throw. Hmm. If in 16th level, the duration of this hex is extended by one round. Hmm. This is for healing. Mm. Companion animal at level 16. Yeah. Okay, this is a displacement on the on the enemy. Like the other way around. Not sure. Touch of acid, metal curse. Act with a mini or ranged weapon constructed primarily of metal, it takes a minus two penalty to AC. That's nice. Stone stupidity. Hmm. Big strike. Shocking. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, this is... <clears throat> touch of the Grave. The standard action the Shaman can make in the lead touch attack infused with negative energy that deals 24 points of damage plus 1 point of damage for every two Shaman levels she possesses. That's worse than most of the others. Heal undead with this, so it could be good. Hmm, not sure if we should do this then. Unstoppable. Unrelenting assault. Every turn, as long as you make at least one melee attack, you gain a stacking plus one plus two bonus to damage rolls with melee weapons up to maximum. Of four. But she's not doing melees as much. She's more of a um, she's more of a yeah. Probably will take the frost. Why not? All life. What does Touch of Acid do?
I think the metal curse is quite nice. She's doing a lot of curses, and with the metal curse, um, hmm. yeah, let's take this one. Why not? Don't think that she will do so many. Okay, he will be the. Uh, you see, we can't see her, but I'm pretty sure that she's not a good one. Oh, we have a lot of weapons that we can sell. Good. Ah, oh, yes, we're still back from the from the Grey Garrison. Strength seven, really. You're not really strong, boy. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, there it is. F. I'm pretty sure, yeah, Boundless Healing, I thought that they will give him this burst. This is also a really great ability. Uh, this makes our healing spells much more effective. Yeah, let's do this. And he's a really great healer. We will take him with us everywhere. He's our Tristan in this... Um, In this campaign, Len, you're still here. That's interesting because I told you I don't want you with me. I mean, I'm not not really abundant key. You've learned a way to increase your key pool. I I don't know if we have already key points with him. I was just... Uh, no, uh, it was too cold. There is still some cat outside, but yeah, she has to endure the cold now. Or else I'll die here. Uh, yeah, we need some... we need some ranged attack stuff for him. Battle meditation, bad jokes, boundless healing, nah, cleaving shot, that sounds good. Each time you deal critical damage with your ranged weapon attack or reduce the target to zero hit points, you deal your weapon damage to all other enemies in 10 foot radius. That's good. Let's see if we have some other good things for ranged attacking characters, your ranged weapon attacks are dangerous enough for the enemy to forget about me new threats. So this does make less damage, but it makes the people easier to hit. That's good. You hit an enemy with ranged attack, they receive a penalty on AC against melee attacks equal to half your mythic rank for one round. So probably not okay now, but later on, when we have a higher mythic rank, will be quite okay, but at least now it's not too good. Elemental Barrage, this is for some spellcasters probably. Emergency help, this is probably for uh, Darren, enduring spells, enforced trigger. Some people, no, this is good for a sorcerer who is doing one fireball after, after another. <laughs> Ever ready? What's that? Um, no, this is for the attacks of opportunity. This is ah oh, yeah. This is also for for a ranged character. Every third hit with a ranged weapon against the same enemy deals a dash additional one d six per two mythic ranks divine magic. Probably also later on better, but we'll keep in mind leading strike this is for melee characters the strikes make cracks in the blah 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 yeah melee combat rage magic nullification i'm i'm um i'm a bit um not pissed but i'm i'm 
I don't like it because I can remember uh, when I was playing my Huntress in our pen and paper campaign, uh, we also used mythic abilities, and I think there was something that was able to that was was making it able to um, be to, to flank with your uh, with your animal companion when you are not standing beside the um, the person. So you could flank with your ranged weapon. I'm not sure if this was right, or if I played it right, but I played it as this. So I really like to have this, but it's not here. I didn't find, I didn't see it before, so probably it's not there. Mythic charge, no. Powerful shadows, ranging shots, that sounds interesting. Every time you miss an enemy with a ranged weapon attack, your aim improves, giving you a eh, plus one on attack. Probably later on quite good if they are I think they are. Mm, yeah. Okay, this is good against really big monsters. <clears throat> Thundering blows, this is melee. Unrelenting assault. Unstoppable. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the cleaving shot. That's really good. I think. He's killing most of the time people, so... That's nice. Let's see, whom do we have here still? Two more. Like, Wolchif. I didn't look for anything for... Um, Ah, oh, they give him also abandoned, abundant casting. Yeah, why not? I didn't see anything especially for rogues. This is interesting. I, you, you should think that there is something for rogues like uh, very powerful kind of getting into the shadows or making. Um, making sneak attack in broad daylight when fighting against the person like that. But I, I didn't see anything really interesting for rogues here. Just for mages and and warriors. Hmm. Yeah, let's take the abund abundant casting then. That's okay with me. Abundant casting is good. And Sila, you're the last one, my dear paladin friend. Let's see, what can we do with you? We'll have to abundant smite. Uh, this is a smite evil stuff. We've learned a way to increase the number of uses for your smite evil. You can use smite evil a number of additional times per day, equal to half your mythic rank. Eh. I don't think this is quite good. There are some bad things. Brutality incarnate. This would be great for our... Oh no, we have this for our... Um, animal companion. Because there is no damage reduction more anymore. This is quite interesting, I think. As you can teleport to a spellcaster. This is also quite good. In a dire situation, you can instantly make your way to your any to a companion in danger, get them back into combat. This will be good for Darren later on. Enforced vigor, probably something like that. No, not in Forced Vigor. Um, where's the thing that I wanted? Leading Strike. Every time you hit the target in melee combat, you leave a mark on it. And 
ally attacking the marked target deals additional divine damage. Yeah, probably something like that. And her just standing in the middle of the fight and attacking everyone. So everyone gets a bonus on everyone else. Three times per day, you automatically display. Nah. The bigger they are, no thundering blows. Ah, this is also nice. The sound of your blows is powerful enough to damage even without piercing through enemy defenses. Once per round, when your melee attack misses the target, you deal 2d6 plus 1d6 to a few mythic ranks. Sonic dam damage to all enemies in 10 feet right radius. Uh, it's only once per day. Ah, once per round, <laughs> not once per day. Ooh. <laughs> so it's two d six every every turn. You do a lot of damage because it's ten feet radius. It's at least, I mean, if it's a group of people, it's at least uh, three or four people. That's probably in the range. Now let's take the thundering blows. That's that's really good. I'm pretty sure about that. This and the uh, leading strike probably will take the leading strike next then. Mm -hmm. Complete. So this was our um is there a shortcut for this? Backspace. Is this backspace? No. What's backspace? This? Yeah, this is backspace. I don't know the, the word for the, the English word for the key thing. <laughs> okay. There's Erebath, Storyteller, Nenyo. You say the wizard. No. Ah, uh, one thing we forgot. My dear Wolchiv, you will get more stuff into the spell book. You don't have level 3 spells. Okay. Um, what should we do put there? Hypnotism, probably. Yeah, why not? Sounds interesting. Um, touch of gracelessness. Another shocking grasp. And what's a flare burst? What does this do? All creatures within 10 foot burst. Centered on target point within close range. Nah. <laughs> Greece. Ah, oh, yes. Greece. Like this is like the the pit from Nenyo. Let's take two times the as an arrow and the third time the invisibility. We want you to be invisible as much as possible. Okay. Yeah, I think, my dear friends, this was it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. This was not really story <laughs> affecting what we did today. We just did the mythic ranks. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.